Hello everyone, you are watching daily current affairs video for the day 19th of June 2020. Welcome to this brand new video. You are watching Officers Plus YouTube channel. Let me tell you, these questions are curated from the leading newspapers like the Hindu, the Indian Express, the Financial Express and the Hindi newspaper Danik Jagran. So let us begin with our set of questions. The first question coming up is who has been appointed as new president of UN General Assembly? The answer is option A, Volkan Bosker. Let me tell you, Volkan Bosker is a Turkish diplomat who has been elected as president of 75th session of the United Nations General Assembly. He was running uncontested. He won unanimous support from the 178 UN member states that were present in voting. And he will take over Tijami Muhammad Bande when the annual session opens. The General Assembly President has a one year term. You can see Volkan Boskir, he is a Turkish diplomat. His photo is displayed here. And uh, he has been elected as President of UN General Assembly. Moving on to our next question. India has been elected non-permanent member of UN Security Council for a two year term beginning January 2021. How many votes were in favor of India out of 192 countries? The answer to this question is option A, 184. So India received 184 votes out of 192 countries. Actually, there were five vacant seats in the UN Security Council, of which four were uh, filled by the first round of voting, which held on Wednesday. Along with India, Kenya, Ireland, Mexico and Norway obtained the requisite two-thirds majority in the General Assembly. Well, let me tell you, India was the sole candidate for a non-permanent seat from the Asia-Pacific category. Also, India has earlier been elected as a non-permanent member for the years 1950 to 1951, 1967 to 1978, 1972 to 1973, 1974 to 1985, 1991 to 1992 and 2011 to 2012. You can see a paper clip which says India courts uh, to win in Security Council polls. Moving on to our next question. Supreme Court of India refused permission for which prominent festival to be held in June? The answer to this question is B. Ratshatra. A three judge bench headed by Chief Justice of India S.A. Bobde declined to entertain a request to allow the rituals because uh, the order came on a plea by NGO Odisha Vikas Parishad which contended the annual yatra schedule to begin on June 23. It could lead to spread of infection as it is attended by lakhs of people. You can see a paper clip uh, which says citing danger of COVID spread, Supreme Court refuses permission for Rath Yatra. Moving on to our next question. A white label ATM gets a license to operate under which of the following acts? The answer to this question is option C. Payments and Settlements Act 2007. So uh, let me tell you some facts regarding white label ATMs. So as mentioned in the question, these gets licensed to operate under Payment and Settlements Act 2007. These are ATMs. These are set up and owned, also operated by non-bank entities. So white label ATMs are like normal ATM. You can just do normal transactions. However, the cash deposit or cash acceptance facility is not permitted at the white label ATM. So the difference is this ATM machine does not have any branding of bank. And these machines are usually deployed by NBFC non-banking financial institutions. Moving on to the next question. The next edition of Asian Para Games to be held in which country? Option B is the answer China. Uh, the 2022 Asian Para Games, also known as the 4th Asian Para Games, is a multi-sport event that parallels the 2022 Asian Games which will held for Asian athletes with disability in Hangzhou, Zhejiang, China. It will be held from 9 to 15 October 
2022. Well, Hangzhou will be the second Chinese city to host the games after Guangzhou in 2010. Also, uh, this important note here, you see, Bahrain is to host 4th Asian Youth Para Games. I explained about the Asian Para Games and this is Asian Youth Para Games. You focus on the word youth here. So, Bahrain is going to host the Asian Youth Para Games. You can uh, pause the video and read the requisite information I curated for you here. Moving on to next question. Prime Minister Narendra Modi to launch Omnibus Rural Job Scheme. What's the name of the scheme? The answer is C. Garib Kalyan Rojgar Yojana. Sorry, Garib Kalyan Rojgar Abhiyan. The explanation regarding this is the government has decided to expeditiously use the budgetary funds of 50,000 crores Indian rupees from among the outlays for 25 existing schemes to address the plight of migrant workers who have returned to their native villages with uh, ready remunerative jobs. You can see a paper clip which uh, summarizes the Garib Kalyan Rojgar Abhiyan. You can pause the video and have a read. Moving on to the next question. What is the rank of India in World Justice Project Rule of Law Index 2020? Option B is the answer 69. You can see uh, the rank of India 69. This ranking covers 128 countries. The top rankers are Denmark, Norway, and Finland. Well, the lowest overall scores were from Venezuela, Cambodia, and uh, DR Congo. And also, the countries with the strongest improvement in the rule law were Ethiopia and Malaysia. Moving on to our next question, Asian Development Bank forecasted the Indian econ economy will contract by dash amount of percent in 2020 to 21. So what's the figure? The, op the answer to this question is option B, 4%. The explanation regarding this question is, Asian Development Bank said in a supplement to its Asian Development Outlook, also called ADO, on Thursday that the economy of India is expected to contract by 4% during the current financial year. Also, ADB forecasted growth of the developing Asia countries as 0.1% in 2020. Let me tell you, developing Asia refers to a group of over 40 countries that are members of Asian Development Bank. You can see a paper clip which says Indian economy to contract by 4% in 2020 to 21. So, moving on to the next question. Geo Platforms Limited received its 11th investment by Saudi company. What's the name of the company that recently took the stick? The answer to this question is option A Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund. So, Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund is the latest to pick up 2.3% in Geo Platforms, which uh, is around 11,367 crore Indian rupees. Further, Geo Platforms has raised a total of 1,15,693 crore of Indian rupees through 11 deals in the last two months. By selling, here's a spelling mistake, it's actually selling. So they have sold a 24.7 point seven. 24.7% uh, stake to technology giants like Facebook and several big private equity investors. You can pause the video and read the requisite information for you here. There's a paper clip also. Have a read. Uh, it's important as it's receiving a lot of investments in recent days. Moving on to the next question. American credit rating agency Fitch Ratings trimmed its outlook for outlook for India to which condition? They have trimmed its outlook for India to negative. So you read, Fitch Ratings retain its sovereign rating for India at the lowest investment grade of BBB, but trimmed its outlook to negative from stable, citing a sharp COVID-induced deterioration of the country's growth and fiscal metrics. Also, Fitch expects India's debt levels to climb to 84.5% of the GDP in financial year 
2021 against the 71 percent in the last fiscal year you can see a paper clip which says fish trims india outlook to negative moving on to our next question a very famous film director and script writer also producer k r satyadanandan popularly known as sachi passed away recently from which movie industry is he related option uh, are Karnataka film industry, Telugu film industry, Malayalam film industry, and Tamil film industry. The option which is correct is option C, Malayalam film industry. So he is uh, he was the director of the recent Trithviraj Biju Men and Starer, Ayappanum Koshyam, who which become a huge hit. So the director had reportedly undergone a hip replacement surgery at the private hospital. So he scripted films which include Dri- Driving License, Ram Leela, Seniors, and Run Vib Run. You can see a photo of K R Sachidanandan, which uh, the newspaper clipping says Malayalam director Sachidanandan, also known as Sachi, who is no more. Moving on to our next question. Recently, China passed a draft of controversial law pertaining to special administrative reasons, which S A R is that option A is correct here Hong Kong. So China's leg- legislature on Thursday passed a draft of a national security bill for Hong Kong that has been strongly criticized as undermining the semi-autonomous territories, legal and political institutions. You can pause the video and read the explanation part very well. So this is you can see. Carrie Lam, Hong Kong leader. So the newspaper clip says China passes draft of controversial Hong Kong law. Moving on to our next question. Recently, PM Narendra Modi unveiled the auction process of 41 mines for commercial mining through video conferencing. What types of mines are these? The answer, which is correct, is option A, coal mines. So. 41 coal mines with estimated reserves of 16,980 million ton are up for grabs, and the government launched the maiden auction. After it allowed private players to bid for coal blocks without any end-use restrictions. Let me tell you, this would be the first set of coal assets to be auctioned off through the new market-determined revenue share model that replaced the fixed fee turn, fixed fee. Per turn regime, the turn of private investors. Here's a paper clip attached. Also, you can uh, pause uh, pause the video in between any time to read the explanation part very well. If I miss anything important. Moving on to our fourteenth question. P K Jain has been given an extension for one more year as which of the following positions? So he has been given extension as B C C I Ombudsman. So this is uh, the 14th question. Uh, let me move on to our last question of this video. Which day is observed on 19th June every year? So the answer to this question is option A, International Day for the Elimination of Sexual Violence in Conflict. Well, that's all for today's video. If you like the video, do hit the like button and subscribe our channel for the latest important updates. Thank you for watching this video.